Hey, good morning everyone. I'm Wes Irwin and this is the Moose's LZ Bar and Grill Morning Minute. Uh, coming to you from Volusia Speedway Park, uh, my winter residence. And as you can hear, uh, my voice is still a little scrappy. So I haven't been on here in a couple days. Uh, a couple reasons, because my voice, I didn't have one. Uh, and two, cell phone service and connectivity for internet is just has been just horrible uh, the last few days of the Dirt Car Nationals. Uh, the Dirt Car Nationals are in the books. Of course, we lost Saturday to uh, Mother Nature, and uh, Daytona 500 is going to be uh, going to be uh, rescheduled uh, as well because it's raining pretty good here today. Uh, it's pouring. It's been raining all day. It's been raining since yesterday evening. So, uh, a lot of rain in the area. I'm inside uh, the RV. Uh, temperatures, eh, low 60s, I believe, is what they're calling for. Nothing major. Nothing uh, warm. Nothing cold. But. Uh, yeah, crappy day, uh, and the DCN, uh, Dirt Car Nationals are in the books, but um, <clears throat> had a lot of fun. Uh, it was a very busy Dirt Car Nationals, but it seemed to go by pretty fast. Um, it's always a lot of work, uh, these bigger events when you start the season off, but I feel like I'm in a good position to get ready to roll now, and uh, that's exactly what we'll do after we race here one more time. So uh, we got the bike week race coming up here at Volusia Speedway Park, March 3rd and 4th. Uh, Sunday and Monday, so uh, once that's over, we'll hightail it, we'll get out of here, so um, yeah, looking forward to uh, hit, hitting the road and uh, having some cell phone service and connectivity. Miss um, Marbles is running around, she's got the zoomies right now, but uh, I'd show you, but I can't catch her, she's that fast. Um, had fun with uh, everybody here at Volusia Speedway Park, and I can't thank them enough, the staff here, and especially Shane and Frank, uh, the safety guys, for allowing me to spend yet another winter, winter here helping them on the track so that was uh always appreciate those guys and we were having uh an auction a silent auction all week long for for shane uh, we do it for the benevolent fund on the sprint car side but we did auction off uh some things for the late model week and uh we gave that all to shane because his wife's and uh you know she's not doing too well and uh those guys are you know when you're when your wife's in the hospital and you're missing work and things like that you know it's going to get tough on him and uh tough on his family so uh we were able to raise eight hundred dollars for shane which is pretty cool i, I appreciate everybody that participated in uh, bidding on the banners and whatever item we might have had for auction so uh it was, i felt good to give shane eight hundred dollars hopefully that can help with something uh if he's missing work or he needs groceries or whatever the case may be gas for the next month or two months whatever but uh, that was cool, everybody, to participate. And we'll be doing those uh, benevolent fun auctions. I call it the Living Like Outlaws silent auction. And it's now powered by Racing with Jesus Ministries. Uh, they got behind that to help me a little bit. And uh, so make sure you go over and like their page, uh, Racing with Jesus Ministries. And uh, they'll be involved in my uh, all my auctions for the rest of the year. So if you're coming to a uh, World of Outlaws Now Century Drink Sprint Car Series event, uh, stop by the trailer. We'll always have something up for auction for bid. I've uh, been thinking about doing it online too, but uh, a lot of people have, like would like to bid on it that can't be at the races. The only problem with that is shipping costs, and I've been burned so many times. So uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to go that route yet or not. But we'll think about it. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling on. I haven't got to talk for a while, but uh, I had a good time interviewing. Uh, Kenny Wallace and Kenny Schrader, my friends, uh, went on stage with me here at the big track on the Sage, uh, Sage Fruit stage, and that was pretty bad, badass to get to do that. Uh, got to meet Michael Waltrip and his partner, uh, Brian, and um, they are, uh, you know, his partner from uh, Darrell, Wal or yeah, Michael Waltrip Brewery. Anyway, they're going to be doing some cool things with us. I can't wait. Uh, get, I didn't get the sample of his beer yet, but I'm getting ready to.